So guys, that's round one. I'm gonna look at trying to do at least three rounds today. Managing the cardio. As you can see, I'm breathing pretty hard. Probably getting close to about an eight out of 10. Wanna get as far as a nine. Nine, can't even talk this well. Ears start to ring a bit. Don't wanna go beyond that. So it's so whatever it takes to get to that level, that's important. And then uh, maintain it for a few minutes, and then bring it back down. This kind of training, in a little as eight to 12 minutes, metabolically shifts you up for the next 24 to 48 hours and starts the conditioning effect to happen. So the goal here is to hit this once a week in between all my other strong powerful bodybuilding stuff. So, so there you go guys. First conditioning workout back in a long time. Like I said in the previous part of this video, my goal is to do three rounds. And as I was just explaining to Kevin, who's behind the camera today, I could have pushed a fourth round. I could have escalated like I had the workout going. So this is a version of the workout we just did this morning called Escalation, where each round we added more, one more prowler run. We added five more reps to every exercise. Uh, but for me, because this is literally day one of getting back into conditioning, you know, having doing what I did in the first round and getting through three rounds still took me about you know eight to twelve minutes. A little bit of recovery in between when I got really gassed, I would just walk it off a bit, breathe, count to 10, 15, 20 maybe, get back in, hammer out the five or 10 reps, work my way through it, get back on the prowler. On the last prowler, I actually did high horns, low horns. Again, it's not on video, so it doesn't count. Um, and again, as I was explaining to Kevin, first round is the toughest, second round is tough, third round, a little bit easier, I'm really well warmed up, but I also know mentally it's the last round. Could I have pushed a fourth round? Could I have added more reps? Yes, but I don't think I would have got three, three sets in, but I also would have went well past the nine. And for me, getting well past the nine on day one, getting back into it, doesn't make any sense. It's not encouraging. I'm not gonna get any more metabolic effect from getting to a nine to a 9.4, right? And the key is, I haven't done conditioning in a long, long time. So at the end of the day, I'm not gonna fix my conditioning in one workout, right? So we wanna work hard, eight to 12 minutes. Metabolic rate is sky, gonna skyrocket now for the next 24 to 48 hours. What that means is I'm gonna be burning more calories at a higher level for the next 24 to 40 hour, 48 hours, for the next one to two days, right? And that makes a big difference, and that's how we start bringing it up. Also, I didn't grind it so hard that I can't work bench tonight or tomorrow, right? Because I wanna keep my bodybuilding stuff going on as well. So I'm just adding this to get the conditioning effect, burn some more calories, but metabolically shift up for the next two or three days. So for the next couple of weeks, that's what we're gonna hit on the Wednesday mornings. Um, next video, I'll actually film my warm up and the cool down in there so you get to see what that's all about. And uh, after a couple of weeks in, I'll probably add a second day during the week, right? And more of a challenge base. 150 swings, do it till I'm done, that kind of thing. We'll figure something else. We get the mental challenge as well too, right? So short goals, get from this end of the room to the other with the prowler. You know, you saw I was doing box squats. So I haven't squatted a little bit, my knee's bugging me. I'm 370 or 360, I don't know, I weighed in Monday. We started the Silverback Blueprint, started back up on Monday, so I'm jumping in with the guys, so I'm gonna be weighing in every Monday. Uh, so 
not worried about doing full body weight squats, box squats with a squat thruster. You know, again, if you're doing your can't squat, sitting down to a box or a chair is a great way to get started, start activating things. And as you get stronger and your mobility increases, you bring it up. So you can start this type of workout at any level. It might be one to two reps, it might be five reps. Don't have a prowler, do box steps, jumping jacks, up and down the step at home. We'll shoot some video for that a little later on, right? But I'm really looking to show you guys and start from less than scratch and we're gonna build from there. All right, guys, try this. And if you have any questions, kurthoss at gmail.com and I'll talk to you guys later.